And here are two 60s Batman Ben Cooper Halloween costumes, both dated 1965. This one here is the pink swirl box, and uh, it's the first issue, first window box of its kind. And the second issue would be in 66, and it was orange swirl. This one I've had forever, for um, over 30 years. And I really, really love this one. And as you see, you see the uh, back on his forehead um, does not say Batman. And here's where they started doing that. Another boxed example, also dated 65. And it has the classic Ben Cooper logo. And the unique thing about this box is that it's the variant where it has the fighting words from the TV series Pow, Wham, and uh, the other one does not say that. There's a variant that's more common. Um, I could do without Mary Poppins on the box, but Superman is cool. Um, but yeah, these are both a first of their kind, so this is the first of this style box. And this, uh, the bat in the corner of the, the die cut window is just killer. Also this variant without the fantastic dialogue bubble has a really, really rare Batman cape variant with a, a heavy black, like sort of patent leathery vinyl sewn on bat on the back of the cape, really large. Now enjoy this slide of various Ben Cooper Batman masks. Here he is in person, Ben Cooper, that man, Halloween costume, made in the old style with a vacuum form plastic mask, and looks like they went with rayon or cloth outfit, 30 bucks. He gave it that Mattel. Batman 60s TV series graphics. So now Ruby's, who took the license from College Bill, 
who took the license from Ben Cooper back in 1992 now has the right to use this classic logo. 1989, their packaging was black fading to lime. Here's a rare costume poncho with a Batman mask. And here's the most unusual Ben Cooper piece ever made. It's Batman and Joker on the opposite side. Joker with bat ears, really, really strange. 